Tell us how they'll go. Well, Double Impulse has uh, got a good bit of form there to Appleby Fair recently at the Valley where he ran on nicely. But uh, Devil's Worship, I've only seen it do light work, uh, Bruce. Takes my eye a bit, and uh, I think there's a bit of a wrap on it, really. It's 280 for a Wind Devil Worship in Victoria, and Double Impulse is $1. Rancher's Image in the market at 395 and after that, Bajila at $7.95. But it looks to be in the top two. Strong headwind at Flemington down the straight. They won't be running fast times. Track reading slow, but drying conditions. Great day of racing combined with the golf. And they're all set for the first. And in three, super mover, very toey. Light on, ready. Racing, double impulse, ran in at the start and knocked Tharpa Duster, and now Tharpa Duster runs out at it. Devil Worship away well. Ranchers Image began very fast early, and Regis Pont showing good speed in the early stages. As they go up past the 900, Ranchers Image joined by Devil Worship and Double Impulse. Regis Pont just in behind them with Tharpa Duster and Manzari and Setter bounce up in front of those. Vigila back about fourth last. Triandi behind it with Super Mover and Phantom Lunch. Over that crossing at the 600 and Double Impulse out three wide with Devil Worship and Ranchers Image the rail. A length and a half to centre bounce Regis Pont and Tharpa Duster four deep. They're getting into the track a bit. Triandi under the whip and further back Super Mover and Vigila. Ranchers Image got away from Double Impulse at the 400 about a length. Beaten Devil Worship. Tharpa Duster out wide and then set a bounce, Bajila and Triandi. Double impulse moves up at the 300 to join Ranchers Image. Bajila and Tharpa Duster are going home strongly. Bajila looks the challenger, has taken the lead. Phantom Lunch is running on very late, but Bajila's taken the lead from Ranchers Image. Then set a bounce and Tharpa Duster and Bajila's won the first by two links. Second Ranchers Image, I reckon Tharpa Duster got third in front of set a bounce and Phantom Lunch. Behind those double impulse, Triandi, Regis Pont. One of the last to finish was Super. Super Mover with Manzari and Devil Worship Absolute. <coughs> in Victoria for 50 cents, Vigila is 8.55 and 2.10. So a good result for bookmakers, the opening race. Ranchers Image, a dollar, and Tharpadasta at $4.80. And Jeff Merton Smith stakes. In the field, 5.45, Crown Ridge, 2.30. This is for 50 cents in Victoria. South of Belmont, 7.55. Hal Regal, 7.05. Silver Shark, 5.50. Caspian Town $8, Super Impose $4.15, Royal Centurion $19.25, Fredemus $2.10, and looks to be favourite at that price. Zephyr Khan $6.40, Peter Bird $22.40, Scratch Roman Gunner, Glenn Morrison $15.35, Blanc Cheval $16.80, Worth a Mention $31.20, Black Cave $24.45. Two favourites are Fredemus, horse number nine at $2.10, and number two, Crown Ridge, at $2.40. 8 dollars 8.55 and 2.10 in Victoria. Ranchers Image, a dollar. Tarpa Duster, 4.80. Quinella, 25.25. And a very handsome trifecta to start off. $2,560.25. 7, 6, 10, 8.55 and 2.10. And they're all set. Light on. Racing. And they jumped in a fair line. Superimposed was last out, and South of Belmont's dropped out last, and Crown Ridge back about fourth last early. Fredema showing pace surprisingly with Peter Bird and Blanc Cheval as they settle, and then Howe Regal behind them, worth a mention from Glenn Morris and Black Cave. In the field, trapped a bit deep. Silver Shark between runners. Further back, Royal Centurion Crown Ridge has not paced much pace on, and Zephyr Khan was checked back to last. Superimposed outside of it, and Caspian Town just up in front of it with South of Belmont. No pace on at all at the 1500. Glenn Morrison pulling its way to the front, about a half to Peter Bird. How Regal outside Blanc Cheval and tucked away on the fence for Demas. A link for the back of the field, then to Silver Shark and around the outside Royal Centurion and in the field trap very deep. Black Cave in front of Worth a Mention. Crown Ridge three deep outside Caspian Town. Two to south of Belmont, a half to Superimpose and a length and a half away last is Zephyr Khan. 1,200 out and they're still crawling. And Glenn Morrison by three quarters to Hal Regal and on the fence Peter Bird in the field's never been on the track. Blanc Cheval next from Fred Demas going all right. He's nice and handy and Raw Centurion's outside of him. Then Silver Shark as Crown Ridge goes around the outside of it and Black Cave, worth a mention the inside. Further back, Super and Pose, who's following Crown Ridge, then Caspian Town, south of Belmont, and a length away last, Zephyr Khan. 
800 out and Glenn Morrison has drifted off the fence and has allowed the Peter Bird to go up and join it. How Regal just behind them within the field and around the outside Royal Centurion about four or five deep under the whip. Making a run Crown Ridge end superimpose end Zephyr Khan within the field behind them and Fredema is looking to get out. In the straight Royal Centurion kicked away but Crown Ridge quickly out after it with How Regal Peter Bird. Superimpose continuing a long run and Caspian Town and further back on the field then to Zephyr Khan at the 250 and Crown Ridge tackled by Superimpose there together. A length and a half to Caspian Town, Zephyr Khan and Fredemus and Silver Shark. Crown Ridge fighting Superimpose off with 100 to go. A long neck in front of Superimpose and Caspian Town. Clark riding hard, Superimpose coming out at late. They're going to hit it together. Crown Ridge just in front and I reckon has just beaten Superimpose and three links to Caspian Town. Fourth Redeemers from Royal Centurion, then came Zephyr Khan. Behind those horses, Silver Shark with Hal Regal, Peter Bird, south of Belmont, Black Cave, Glenn Morrison, worth a mention, Blanc Cheval, and in the field last. Well, at the finish, it was Crown Ridge and Superimpose. At the start, it was Crown Ridge and Superimpose. They were at the back of the field at the start. But Evidence uh, in Victoria, Crown Ridge $1.30 and 70, Superimpose 135. Caspian Town 315, Quinella 695, Trifecta 235.65, and the running double $51. Crown Ridge $1.30 and 70 cents on the second. Cents, Combituate Lady 850, Damsel and Venardu 515, 955. As one to come up, 730 Al Vesale and Monmatic 885, and Noble Virtue 850. Set. Ready to go. Concordance the favourite. Will it be another one for Clark and Hayes? They stand well at 2,000 metres on a big day at Flemington. A great day of racing to conclude the carnival. Attended in with My Abbey and Concordance. Light on racing. My Abbey missed it a bit. Concordance away well. Masuni Bell out the back early and Kate's Mill back with it with Carol's Girl. Going fast, Venado and now Tiffany the Grey is going to head them all off with Damsel Noble Virtue Concordance. Papal Princess from the outside, classy and smart between horses, Al Vesale out a little wider. Further back, Combituate Lady with Concordance about seventh as they settle. Classy and smart midfield outside, My Abbey, Mon Matic is back fifth last, behind it, Carol's Girl. One of the last is Roulette Lady and Masuni Bell with them in. 1,400 out now, Tiffany led a length and a half to Al Vesale, who's inclined to pull in second placing. A length, Venadu with the box seat and a half length away, Papal Princess, who's fourth. A link further back, Combituate Lady, the outside in that group of horses is Noble Virtue with Damsel and then Bowley's Girl Concordance. One to My Abbey, a length and a half, Classy and Smart and Mon Matic. Two links to Carol's Girl with Kate's Mill outside of it. Three to Roulette Lady and a link Masuni Bell. 1,100 metres out and the pace steady and out Tiffany about three quarters out. Vesale who's settled better now. A length and a half, Papal Princess outside Venado and Combituate Lady, the Adelaide horses had no luck three deep. Damsel in the centre on the fence, Venado. Uh, a noble virtue and travelling nicely concordance from Bowley's girl My Abbey. Classy and smart outside Mon Matic. Carol's girl back fourth last behind a Kate's Mill from Roulette Lady and two links away last Masuni Bell. 700 metres from home and Al Vesale took over from our Tiffany with Papal Princess outside of it. Wider out is Combituate Lady. Concordance behind them with Damsel and Venadu getting off the fence from Noble Virtue and Classy and Smart. In the straight, 500 out. Papal Princess took the lead about a half to our Vesale. A length and a half, Combituate Lady. Concordance into the clear has been given every chance to favourite and then Classy and Smart. Concordance looks the winner at the 300. Has moved up to Papal Princess and in the centre, Combituate Lady. And they've kicked away from our Vesale. Delay. Clark went for the whip at the distance and she's away now, Concordance. A length and a half in front of Combituate Lady, Papal Princess and Classy and Smart. And Concordance was a big winner on cut day and just as easy today. Wins by three links, Combituate Lady a good run second, then Papal Princess found some form at last. Classy and Smart, Damsel, Al Vesale, Kate's Mill, behind those horses, My Abbey, Carol's Girl, Venadu, Bowley's Girl, Mon Matic, one of the last with Noble Virtue, Roulette Lady, Masuni Bell and Al Tiffany Lark. Well, another... Race four, and a startling lass in Victoria has come up 180 for 50 cents. She's a top class New South Wales filly. Blixen eight dollars. Sovereign Lady six fifteen. Rich Habit six thirty. Rockets ten ninety five. Alipos two dollars. Their odds of three to one, and a strong second favourite. Heidi from the Bark Cumming Stable, a strong third favourite at three twenty five. Sharp Play twenty two dollars. Wise Scarlet twenty six dollars. Manatea twenty dollars. Jewel of Biscay thirty one. Shea Avalon sixty four. 
Gilded Lily from the Hay Stable, $6. A Dunny Asher at $20. Critique, $35. Wallani, $45. Flying Spot, $86. Lady Munro, $95. And there's still one more favourite sin with Rich Ruby Scratch at $217. 1, 2, 13, official. 2, 5.9, the time after race number three. Concordance 90 and 65, Combituate Lady 165, Papal Princess 390, Trifecta 235.35, Quinella 465 and the double $2.15. So Gracing uh, didn't get away all that well starting, unless ran out at the start, now gathers pace, out wide sharp plays coming to the outside and now goes to the inside. Manatea comes out wide, Nitten favoured Sin will be the two on the outside, Manatea leading it by lengths. On the inside, critique away well with Heidi. Lippo's just in behind them. Jewel of Biscay going fast early with Dunyasha. Gilda Lily's right up there in the early stages. And Startling Lass is only a couple of lengths off the lead. And Shea Avalon outside of it. Blixen tucked in behind them with Lady Munro. Rich Habit, Rockets, Wise Scarlet. Further out, sharp play behind those were Lani and Flying Spot. And out wide, Manatea leading favoured sin. Onto the course proper at about the 500. Lippo's the inside of Gilded Lily, Jewel of Biscay, then Dunyasha. Startling Lass is well behind them now, and Heidi looking for a run. Startling Lass looks big odds at this stage. Further out on the track, sharp play starting to wind up, and Sovereign Lady with a run and critique. Gilded Lily led Manatea clear out wide, but Blixen now takes the lead at the distance. From Gilded Lily, Dun Asher and Sovereign Lady, and Manatea down the outside, but Blixen's away. Startling Lass running on late, but Blixen's going to bolt in about four or five. Good go second and third. Gilded Lily hanging on. Uh, startling Lass may have just missed third. I fancy Dunyasha just got it. Then Rich Habit behind them. Sovereign Lady flying spot. Wise Scarlet. Then came Heidi. And next home Lippos. Well back critique with sharp play. Manatea out wide. Then Shea Avalon. Rockets. Walani. One of the last jewel of Biscay and favoured Sin down the outside. This is won by a minute Blixen for Darren Beedman. A bad run. The big one of the day is the quarter of a million dollar Ampol Stakes. Jet Fighter 760 in Victoria for 50 cents. Planet Rule of the Queensland Champion 210. My Arctic Wolf 460. The New Zealander Al Westminster 385. Stable Gossip 1275. Regal Native who's going for a $200,000 bonus 645. Eastern Classic placed two years ago 845. Sandboy from New Zealand 845. Tierra Wrist $4.55. Last year's winner warned three tens come up very short. True Dreams who won the water for Crystal fourteen dollars. Prankster from Sydney thirty dollars. Above deck from the Hay Stable thirty five. Celtic Gear thirty four. And Magic Constep, which is a bit of a tip here today, nine dollars and forty five cents. They're the openers on the Ampol Stakes, the big race of the day, carrying prize money of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And the selections from Keith Hillier, number two Planet Ruler. And the same tip from Graham Kelly, our experts going for the Queenslander in the Ampol Stakes. Woo! Sorry, a Blixen 715 and 220, Gilda Lily 145, Dunyasha 410. Quinella was $40.80. Trifecta $1,217.30, running double $17.25, and the extra double $22.35. They're moving in for the Ampole Stakes to be run over 1,600 metres, a handicap race of $250,000. First prize is $158,600, our caller, Bruce McAdamey. And for Regal Native Fuel, is an extra bonus of $200,000 oh. if he can win. He won the Epsom Handicap at Randwick during the Spring Carnival, and the bonus applies to this race. Two horses, Riverdale and Chanticleer, in recent times have done the double. Jet Fighter 825 in Victoria, Planet Ruler 165, the Queensland champ, My Arctic Wolf 455, our Westminster 415, this is for 50 cents. 525 Regal Native, 850 Eastern Classic, 980 Sandboy, Tierra Wrist at 515, three to come up. Warned at 460, True Dreams, Prankster, Above Deck, Celtic Air, Magic Constep. The last one up, our Westminster. Some of the greats have won this race in the past, including Vane and Gun Sin, as our Westminster joins them, and they're set. There's Above Deck in one. Right at this, no racing. 
And they jumped in a pretty good line, warned out the back early. Eastern Classic a bit slow to begin. Jet Fighter got away well, but he's not riding him for pace today. Above deck and my Arctic Wolf, and now Celtic Air's going to head them off with Magic Constev. No pace early in the Ampole. Our Westminster Trap Deep are going forward. Planet Ruler midfield outside Stable Gossip. Jet Fighter ridden in behind. Further back, True Dreams outside of it. And Tierra Risk just behind them, Regal Native. Cop the check, Jet Fighter went back onto Tierra Risk. Eastern Classic back fourth last. Prankster behind it. Second last, Sandboy off. Flattened Prankster. And Warren cop the backwash. At the 1,000, Celtic Air a length above deck. The box seat, a half-length Magic Constev. A link, my Arctic Wolf in a good spot for Gauchi and our Westminster outside of it from True Dreams Planet Roller. A length and a half to Scable Gossip tucked away on the inside. Eastern Classic is three wide and Regal Nate of the centre. Warren starting to take off from Tierra Risk. Jet Fighters third last. There's a huge surprise. Prankster outside of it and two to the Kiwi Sandboy on the turn at the 600. And their above deck's got a rails run to join Celtic Air who's hanging. My Arctic Wolf's had a dream run. Magic Constev, our Westminster still going well. Then True Dreams, Planet Roller asked the question. Eastern Classic with a run. Tierra Wrist and Warned Out Wide starting to charge home. 300 out above deck, joined by our Westminster. Eastern Classic under the whip, and then True Dreams and Warned Out Deep. Our Westminster will have to go for him now. Eastern Classic and above deck are coming at him. Warned very late from True Dreams. Our Westminster's hanging on, though. He's a length in front, and he's been a consistent horse all spring, and finally wins a big one. Eastern Classic second. Third True Dreams, fourth Warn. Behind those horses above deck, Planet Roller, Tierra Wrist. Next home, Stable Gossip, My Arctic Wolf, then Celtic Air Prankster. One of the last Magic Cons of Regal Native. Second last Jet Fighter and Sandboy tailed off last. The supreme coolness of P. Cook on an hour Westminster. Never gets flustered. Always looked as though he's going to be a bit of a sitting shot, a furlong and a half out but he still just sat there and waited until he just had to go, and then he did go. There he is going up on the outside of above deck. Outside of, uh, right behind uh, our Westminster was Arctic Wolf, who's weakening. True, true dreams there, Eastern Classic, off the track warned, who'd copped the backwash, Bruce, as you said, over at the 1,000 metres. Probably was unlucky because he... He really got a bad knock back there when he was just settling into the race, but you couldn't take anything away from the consistent Our Westminster, that uh, Eastern Classic. There's where the interference happened over there at the Foster sign, which is just past the 1,200 metres, about 1,100 metres out. Now, Warned is back at the rear. Now, you watch the backwash here. Got uh, Prankster back third last. Bing checked to your wrist. Prankster goes backwards. Warned is checked at the back. Watch him restrained. Up goes his tail. Yep. And he's lost a length or so and uh, and a bit of momentum. And it probably cost him, it certainly cost him running a place. But our Westminster, $4.135. And Des hit it on the head when he said that Peter Cook was at his absolute best. It was a brilliant ride. It was third in the Manicato, third in the Marlborough Cup, third in the Elders and third in the Gadsden. First home today, 4 7 11. Artistic Princess in race six is 3.75. Lord Scotia, 3.05. Confucius Flyer, 8.65. Here's the point, 1.75. Wolverton Diamond, 6.30. Stimulus, 3.65. Mr. Cheap, $18. Mighty Seymour from South Australia, $15. Kiskin, 9.50. Lucky Witch at 8.95. Daima, 7.25. Lonely Dreamer, $10. Senor Jess at 12.80. Favourite, here's the point for race six. The Flying, the Australian Airlines Flying. Peter Cook, who had no luck at all during the spring carnival, being suspended, missed out on riding on Derby Day, Cup Day, Oaks Day, bounces back to win the quarter of a million dollar Ampole Stakes on our Westminster. The dividends, our Westminster, $4 and $1.35. Eastern Classic, $2.10. True Dreams three dollars. The Quinella was twenty six ninety. Running double sixty five sixty, and the Trifecta five hundred and six dollars fifteen. Our Westminster four dollars and one thirty five after the Ampole. Excellent ride, Peter Cook. Correct weight one thirty eight. Margins a length and a quarter by a length, and the feature race today the Ampole Stakes. And down to Phil Gibbs now. Dead running into a headwind. Racing. 
and they jumped in a fair line except for Mr. Cheap. You could see him out the back early. Here's the point, was away fast. It's in the centre of the track. Diemus away all right. An artistic princess going hard early. Mighty Seymour near the inside, headed off by Lonely Dreamer and Lucky Witch going up and Stimulus tucked in behind them. Further back, Wolverton and Diamond from Kiskett and then Lord Scotia, Confucius Flyer. Senor Jessa back behind it and last of all, Mr. Cheap. Over the crossing at the 700 and here's the point. Just led Lonely Dreamers on its inside with Lucky Witch. Out wide as still as Artistic Princess and Kiskin and behind them, Mighty Seymour. Then Stimulus Diamus looking to get out, Senor Jester running on Lord Scotia, Confucius Flyer and further back then to Mr. Cheap. Going past the 400, Lucky Witch just in front of Lonely Dreamer. Here's a point under pressure, next taking a split, Stimulus Artistic Princess, Confucius Flyer running on reasonably well at the distance. Lucky Witch just in front of Lonely Dreamer, Stimulus coming at it with Confucius Flyer who won't go straight. Stimulus takes the lead from Lucky Lucky Witch with 100 to go, Confucius Fly very late coming at it, Stimulus in front wins, beats Confucius Flyer and Lucky Witch, I uh, reckon Diamond should nearly have won next, had no luck at all, then Lonely Dreamer, Wolverton and Diamond, Lord Scotia, Kiskin, here's the point disappointing behind them, Mr Cheap, Senor Jester, Artistic Princess and Mighty Seymour. Yeah, Stimulus in the famous Burnborough colours has won the race beating Confucius Flyer in the, on the outside and Lucky Witch over on the fence and as you said, uh, Diemus not having a lot of luck and running on very strongly. As for the other big race of the day, the Queen Elizabeth Stakes, major drive is scratched. Around the world, 3.15. This is for 50 cents in Victoria. Zamakima, a hot favourite at a dollar. That's even money odds. Search, 4.50. Batuta, 24.05. Be Reasonable, 12.50. Our Watchman, 8.05. Our Farrah Stack, 9.60. Superior Way, 17.75. Tilbury Temptation, $29. Windy Sun, 15. Camilla, 18. Spending, 6.90. Not Bluffing, $19. Trade Line, 79. Grosvenor Hall, 40. Pontifico, 78. And the old nine-year-old bound to rain from New Zealand at $25. Keith Hillier's in the mountain. And in Victoria, Stimulus 310 and 95. Confucius Flyer 210. Lucky Witch 245. Trifecta $624.40. Quinella $25.85. Uh, the running double, $25.55, stimulus, 3.10 and 95. Last of the feature races for the Cup Carnival. One more to go after this, but this is the last of the big ones. Light on, ready, racing, and staying in the stalls, Tilbury Temptation missed the start about five lengths, and spending was a bit slow to begin. Search began well with Camilla, the Adelaide Mayor, and Windy Sun being ridden hard to lead them early with our watchman. Uh, just in behind those horses, not bluffing and bound to rain. The old New Zealander going up our Farrah stack round the world. Zamakima midfield as they set off on Tipico behind it, spending trap deep. Tucked away on the fence, trade line, Batuta behind it, be reasonable, superior way, grave and a hall. And a length and a half to Tilbury Temptation. Plenty of pace on this at the 2000, and Windy Sun really wants to run. He's a length in front of our watchman and bound to rain. Now our Farrastack starts to pull as they slow in front. Camilla on the fence from not bluffing, spending four wide around Samakima around the world. Search the fence, a length trade line with the mouth open. Pontifico off the track from Batuta outside, be reasonable. Superior way taking off from second last. Tilbury Temptation behind it and Grover to haul two links away last. 1600 out, our watchman takes over to lead two links, Windy Sun. Our Farrastack third on the fence, bound to rain, two to Camilla. A length and a half round the world's had a good run. Search inside of it and not bluffing out deeper. Spending still off the track. Zamakima, the favourites, had a good run on the back of round the world. Then trade line two to Pontifico. Superior way stopped with that run and outside of it, Tilbury Temptation. Third last for two to second last be reasonable and two to Graver to haul its stable, mate. 1100 out, 20 links cover them. Our watchman a length and a quarter, our Farrah stack, two links, Windy Sun, a half length away, not bluffing. One further back on the field to Bounder Rain, a link further back on the outside, round the world from Search. Uh, next in the field, Trade Line, and then came Zamakima. Uh, Camilla's whipped up in front of those horses and not bluffing's now back about eight. Further back on the field then to Tilbury Temptation and Be Reasonable making a run around the outside from Pontifico. Tilbury Temptation still well back and Batuta's dropped out last before the turn at the 700. Our watchman off the fence about a half length. Our Farrastack goes through on the inside. Windy Sun behind them. Camilla four wide, five wide round the world with spending not bluffing. Zamakima in behind them is about to take a split search inside of it and Be Reasonable. 
400 out, Al Farisak kicked away, led two and a half Camilla. Zamakima in the clear from round the world, be reasonable and grove the whole eight. Al Farisak's got a good lead now, Zamakima quickly out after it at the distance. Be reasonable out wide, Al Farisak a half in front. Zamakima's moved up to him though, takes the lead now for Larry Olsen. And Zamakima about a head in front of Al Farisak, who's kicking back. Zamakima, Al Farisak, Zamakima wins. Second Al Farisak, three lengths away, be reasonable. Then search behind those trade line, Grover the Hall. Next home, superior way, our watchman round the world knocked up. Windy Sun spending, not bluffing. Tilbury Temptation, Batuta, Camilla, Pontifico, and Bounder Rain tailed off last. Just uh, got there, Des, but uh, it has won. Uh, battled on well for third, officially fourth search, as he was in the Dalgetty, and Grover the Hall fifth. The final event to wrap the carnival up, Crush Scratched, Spacecraft 510, Franklin Drive 295, Stewart's Event 290, My Blue Kingdom 1415, Torello 710, Past Habit $9, Place Your Order 840, Raj Quartet 3140, Trick Them Over the Page at 785, Winter 495, Strawberry Ranch 845, Valley of Fortune for Bark Cummings 770, Nondescript First Up 2860, Norwin Hayes 1015, and Sungai Wang is only at $3.35, a horse who's had three starts in its life and has won a maiden. The selections in the last, Franklin Drive for Graham Kelly, number three, and Keith Hillier's selection, Crush, has been scratched. So Franklin Drive, the selection from Graham Kelly, the horse that won the race last year. Here's Zamakima coming back with Larry Olsen. And Zamakima, 105 and 70, our Faristack, 210. Be reasonable, $2.45. Quinella paid $10.35, Trifecta $186.25, double $7.95, and the Daily Double $7.40. Still waiting on the Quadrilla after the Queen Elizabeth. Stand well for the last race of the Carnival Racing. And they jumped okay. Norwin Hayes out the back early. My Blue Kingdom a bit slow to begin. Torello scrubbed up out of the barrier to go fast with Strawberry Ranch and away well Franklin Drive. Sungai Wang's up there in the early stages. Spacecraft past Habit just behind them. Winter the box seat the rail. A length or two further back to Stewart's event on the inside of Place Your Order and Valley of Fortune. Nondescript Raj Quartet's back third last. My Blue Kingdom second last and Norwin Hayes whipped them in. Going past the 1,000 and nondescript crosses over first up to lead two links, Strawberry Ranch, to relay the box seat now. A link and a half away, Sungai Wang and a half to Franklin Drive, Spacecraft outside winter. Past Habit in the centre, place your order three deep, Stewart's event the rail. A link further back, Valley of Fortune, further back on the field, then to Raj Quartet. Trick them it is up front because it's nondescript behind them. Back second last, My Blue Kingdom and Norwin Hayes. Trick them leads into the straight by a length and a half from Strawberry Ranch and Torello the rail. Sungai Wang into the clear, Franklin Drive trying to bullock his way out, Spacecraft Winter. Place your order on Valley of Fortune. Trick them under the whip. Sungai Wang's moved up to nearly join him. Spacecraft with a good run. Franklin Drive, Valley of Fortune and place your order. It's taking the lead at the distance. Sungai Wang from Spacecraft. Here's my Blue Kingdom. Very late with Valley of Fortune. Valley of Fortune has swept for the lead. Torello's got through on the rail. Valley of Fortune in front. My Blue Kingdom late and Valley of Fortune wins from My Blue Kingdom, Torello and past Habit. A race that changed complexion in the last 100 metres. Winter Sungai Wang Stewart's event, then tricked them, he did that to me. Place your order, Raj Quartet, Spacecraft, Franklin Drive, Strawberry Ranch, Nondescript, and last to finish, Norwin Hayes. Well, I suppose if you could read between the lines when Bart Cummings was being interviewed after he won with Stimulus, he said it's not over yet, the program, but uh, maybe somebody fell into uh, round the world and forgot about Valley of Fortune because Bart trains this horse. But uh, Valley of Fortune's improved.